Anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a severe life-threatening allergic reaction. This is as a result of someone coming in contact with something, eating something, or coming exposed to something that they are allergic to. The severe anaphylactic allergic reaction will, will affect their breathing, their throat, and basically in the end, a severe anaphylactic reaction may end up the person no longer breathing. To know how to use an anaphylactic pen or EpiPen they call it, is one process that first aiders need now to understand more than before. The use of the EpiPen is quite simple. The first thing you must do when you identify that there is an anaphylactic suffering a reaction and we need to use the EpiPen is to check the expiry date on the EpiPen. The expiry date will be located in a main prominent position on the EpiPen. You check the expiry date. If the expiry date means that the EpiPen is valid, we can then use the EpiPen. To engage the EpiPen, we must remove the grey cap from one end. This process enables the mechanism inside to set itself so we can then inject the adrenaline into the person suffering the anaphylactic reaction. We place the EpiPen into the palm of our hand. We close the palm of our hand and all we do is place the grey end in which the, end, the needle comes out against the thigh, the upper thigh of the casualty. There is no need to remove denim jeans, shorts, it will pierce those shorts and jeans. All we need to do is just make sure there's no wallet or mobile phone in the immediate vicinity. We place the EpiPen against the upper outer thigh and a little bit of pressure, we apply pressure. And as we apply pressure, you will hear a click as the needle uh, penetrates the skin and enters the body. We then keep the EpiPen located in that position for about 10 seconds. During this time, the adrenaline will be injected into the person to help reverse the effects of the allergic reaction. After about 10 seconds, we do remove the needle, give it a little bit of a rub, lay the casualty down and make sure you contact the emergency services and get an ambulance on its way as soon as humanly possible.